Well, today I am on a local stream not too far from my house. Um, I wasn't able to travel anywhere this week to do any rock counting up in the Olympics or the Cascades. So I just decided I would spend a little bit of time this morning um, looking for some rock here. And here, you know, there is Jasper in here, but that's not what I'm looking for today. I'm going to be looking for um, other types of rocks that have come out of the, you know, the glacial till. Now you can hear a car start up. There's a campground right up behind me. That's how I got access down here. But um, there's a lot of different types of rock uh, that have ended up down here in the stream due to, you know, the glaciers coming out of the north. And I had done a video in the past about lever rights. And um, I wanted to come back in here and see what else I could find. I see there's a stream that comes in over here. I might even check that out a little bit, see what's over in there. But I'm gonna go on upstream. There's a pretty good log jam there. But the water's really low here. As you can see, it just kind of fades away, but then it starts back up again. And that happens on this stream in the summer. There's not a... Oh, there's, Look at this. Yeah, interesting, but not interesting enough. But that's kind of what I'll be looking for. Just better quality than that. I can see people have been playing in the stream here and stuff. But I'm going to get to it and see what I can find in here. Now this here's a piece of something. I have picked up stuff like this before. And when I've cut it, I've been fairly happy with the results. So I'm going to keep this piece and um, I'll take it home, I'll cut it and see if it's worth putting a polish on. Hopefully it comes out the way I, I think it will, but there's no guarantee of that. But we'll try. Well, I found another piece of that rock. It's got some good wiggly lines in there and stuff. I'm going to keep this piece too and hopefully between the two of them I'll find something that'll uh, work for what I want. Uh, it's interesting. It's got like a black in between there almost uh, like a mica in it. It's hard to say. I might even keep that too. We'll try it out. I mean, that's why I'm out here looking for things I don't normally pick up. As you can see, I got a pretty good gravel bar here to look through. It's something, you know, that stream, that's all it is there. And in the wintertime, right where I'm standing, it'll probably be over my head. So, a lot of rain comes down here on these hills. This is one of its main courses of coming down off the hill. Yeah, a lot of interesting rock. Not a whole lot of it I want to take home, but hopefully I'll, I'll find enough pieces. I'm sure I will. Yeah, well, I'll continue on. I know this piece here I just found. I'm just walking along this edge here. It's a... Uh, Breca, so that means it came from like a hydrothermal solution. And it's got a little green, whatnot. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna cut it, and we'll see what it comes out like. Might not be nothing, might be fun, but I'm gonna find out. Here, Kingfisher busy. And I just found this piece of quartz with epido in it. And this looks like to be a fairly decent piece. Might have some good patterns. I'm going to wet it here in this 
Let me stop. Oh yeah, that there will be real nice. Yep, that there will make some beautiful jewelry. So at least I do have something in my bag that I know will come out nice. And my bag's pretty heavy. I picked up some other things. I didn't really show them. I'll show them later. But um, yeah, that's a that's a real nice piece there. That'll make beautiful jewelry. Well, I think I've gone far enough. That looks like it could be a good gravel bar to go through. There's been a lot of people up this stream. And like I said, there's a campground back behind me. There's one up in front of me, and there's another one even farther downstream. So there's three campgrounds in here, and they get used a lot all through the year. So I think my backpack is full. I got one piece in there I know that will come out nicely. The rest, well, we'll find out. And um, that's the thing about this uh, glacial till. You know, the whole Puget Sound lowlands, pretty much full of all of this. And um, it, uh, when you get along the streams, it kind of segregates it out for you. Because streams have a tendency to push heavier materials in certain places and lighter ones in another. So it kind of helps you versus out in there even if you get in a clear cut which I do walk in the winter times and I find good stuff out there but there's no um, erosion much that's helping you you know get things um, separated out you just find things where they are here you know like in these big rocks in here you know your heavier stuff will get pushed out to where you know least resistance and Usually the things we're looking for usually weigh a little bit more than regular rock. But, um, so I think I will head back down that way. There were some bars that I didn't cross. So I'll cross them on my way back. And like I said, my backpack is full already. And I'll see if I can find something to add to it. Nice morning to be out here. This beautiful day. There was a smoke in the sky a little bit, but I think the winds have changed and now it's blowing out of here. It's getting to be fairly clear, which is a lot nicer. So, okay, well, when I get back, I'll cut some of this up and might even put a polish on a little bit of it. All right. Okay, this is what I went out and got today I filled up my bag and um, some of this let me wet this down well, these two pieces here this one here when I cut it really didn't have the color I was hoping for in there or design but that one there I could probably slice that into big chunks and tumble it and it'd make nice tumblers this one here, it's that Breca, and that one there, I, you know, you cut it, tumble it, and those would probably be pretty neat looking uh, polished stones, and you might get in there and actually find something pretty good for jewelry too. It's got kind of a good design in there. Now this one here, I didn't show picking this one up. But um, I sliced it right there. I was hoping that it would have been a, a better green than that. But this here would be great to cut up into hunks and tumble. It would take a good polish. This one here, I wasn't, I was hoping for a, let me just wet all the rest of these down. This one here. It was a little gray, so not real pleased with that one. This here, just going to be beautiful jewelry. That there's just beautiful stuff there. 
and my battery is about dead so I'm going to stop this and change the battery and then I will continue. Okay, now this is the piece that I was just looking at and yeah that there you get several slices out of there and all of that would make real nice jewelry. This hair, it came out pretty neat I thought. I like how it swirls there and maybe back in there it'll swirl, swirl some more. I think it has it right through in there and that makes it interesting. I have a feeling this will polish up real nicely too. This one here now it's just a dark, dark uh, stone, but I have one over here, which I found last year, and it takes a real nice polish, and it's dark. Um, not very often do you get uh, stones that will stay real dark black like that. A lot of times they go gray. Now. This here was that I was hoping that it would have a little better black in there. That might polish okay. I think though I would probably just tumble it. That's kind of neat. Now these here are from past um, times I went in there. And when I walk through there sometimes I will just pick up stuff and throw it in my bag which is the case with this this here yeah you put a polish on that that'd be pretty cool I'd like to find more of that so that's a pretty good color I don't mind the color too much yeah and once that would be a final polish on it would be pretty good this here I like but I don't know if it'll take a good last polish it might but I don't know it's almost like a brick this here was interesting as a tumbled rock I think it'd be alright I don't know if I'd want it as a piece of jewelry now these here I don't mind that green and that's just something just that was up there on the beach, you know, I thought, well, I'll take that and slice it. Now this one here, I was kind of surprised when I polished it up. You know, it uh, came up pretty good, if you like brown. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool there. Right there, that was different. A little black with kind of a yellowish color to it. I don't know if I'd want a piece of jewelry out of that there, but tumbled rocks would be fine. And the same with this, I think. I think it's a tumbled rock that'd be pretty cool. But when you look at it, you're just like, yeah, who knows? This one here, kind of like the color, and that one there, tumbled rock or even a piece of jewelry, you know, maybe a wire wrap pendant or something, that'd be alright. And this here was a little different, but yeah, looking at it there, you just don't know what's is what it's going to do, but you know, it'll take a polish. And yeah, that's something different. So yeah, the glacial till, you know, this Puget Sound uh, lowland glacial till. I mean, it's a grab bag as to what you might find in it. And um, you know, if you can't get out to some of your areas where you know what you're going to find, you always just wander around, pick up different stuff, and check it out. That's what I did here, and some of it works, some of it don't, but that's okay. Had fun doing it. So, well, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.